Viruses, and there are many different kinds of them, can be scattered with each particle of saliva and mucus. When one sneezes or coughs, for instance, but do not think for a moment that cold-producing viruses are spread only by sneezing and coughing. If by some magic, the tiny particles of saliva and mucus could be made visible as a black smudge, we quickly would realize in how many other ways we are apt to scatter bacteria and viruses all around us. For instance, <coughs> Jane here has a cold. <coughs> Look at that smudge. Look at those germs she leaves on the doorknob. And here's Bob's hand picking them up. Bob, his hand now covered with germs picked up from that doorknob, transfers them to a book. Sue, having the bad habit of wetting her finger to turn pages, carries the germs from the book to her mouth and then passes them along with a pencil to Anne. Anne carries them home and leaves them on the family's dinner table. Yes, even during an ordinary conversation, saliva and mucus particles escape our mouth and easily reach others who inhale them as they breathe. Just remember how breath becomes visible on a cold day. How then, with so many germs surrounding us, can we avoid having colds all the time? Well, fortunately, our body has defenses against this enemy. Normally, we breathe through our nose. The nose, as well as the sinuses, the eustachian tubes, and the throat are lined with a delicate membrane. If, under a microscope, you look at the lining of the nose, we call it the nasal membrane, you can see that it is covered with tiny moving threads. These are called cilia. They move back and forth like stalks of grain when a wind blows over a field. The cilia are covered with a warm, moist, sticky substance called mucus. The nose usually secretes about a quart of this liquid every 24 hours. This mucus, by warming and moistening the air we breathe in, prepares it for our lungs. The mucus also catches and destroys microorganisms, that is, bacteria and viruses. If you have a cold, don't stay in school, because if you do, you may send others home with your cold. If you have a cold, stay home. Stay in bed. This is the prescription which common sense and medical science recommend. Medicines, but only those your doctor prescribes. <laughs>